Hi, this is Johnny. I just got my new uh, new mini cap, which is I think is one fourth scale. I get them confused between the one fourth scale and the one sixth scale because there's two versions. But this is the one that I like. It's the new Wave Toys, and the reason I like the this company is because every time you buy from them. You have the VPI uh, uh, discount, meaning that <clears throat> they have you in their email that you subscribe with them. And every time something new come out, they give you the first person to pre-order it before it go on to uh, the floor. And so all the pre-order people that are uh, customer will automatically get discount <clears throat> and they get good discount you know like 30 maybe 30 percent off or something so i got this one for 128 dollars the only thing i don't get is the free shipping okay now during the special holiday if they have extra one during during that time they will give you they will give you a sale with the discount so you get free shipping um, but that's kind of once a year stuff you know and so yeah keep your eyes open for that too okay so that is the measurement uh if those of you who's interesting in what's the, the height and everything i only bought one i didn't buy the other one because i wasn't really crazy about the other one i forgot the other one's name but it i didn't I really don't play that game plus uh, the cabinet wasn't appeal to me you know for my liking so some of you might buy two uh, a lot of times you buy two you get discount but I think this one uh, the discount is the same if you buy one or two but I throw all those boxes away but it's good that they give you so much boxes it's just I don't have space in my house anymore I have a lot of this cabinet. I went and bought the map. It's almost like a mouse map, I think, that they have for RK. Uh, it reminds me of mouse pad, you know, but it might be a better quality. They're selling those uh, last month, but they haven't came in yet. But this one came in first, so I was surprised. Uh, the other one is supposed to come in, but I don't know. I don't think it was pre-order, but maybe it was. I don't know. So that one did not came in the mat. I bought about six of them, I think. The newer one and the older one. The older one, you only could put one cap. It looked like you only could put one per per map, the floor mat or whatever map you want to call it for the mini arcade. So it looked like you are. If you were to videotape it, you look like you were playing. So let me fast forward this so I could take all this apart and then you guys could see. Well, let me just show this real quick. Those are the one that so far it came out. New Wave. From New Wave. And they have extra coin thing. And all that cool stuff. So actually look better once it's open. Bonus original XL joystick. Oh, wow, that's great. All right, let me fast forward this and open this up. Okay, I got all this cool stuff, gadget stuff, coin, a lock. I forgot where that go when there wasn't any instruction where to put this. This is a kick plate. So in the Wii Arcade, they have that. So when people are playing game, they don't kick the... And then there's a warranty sign. They say this is only for look. They don't recommend using that to play when once you replace it. This is the sign that they say that. It's only for display. And then this is Atari. Uh, I guess you could put more... Uh, sticky thing on the cabinet there's another Atari so two sticky Atari and then this one is for fake power 
So you plug this to here, like so, and it's a fake power uh, outlet, but it's not a real two outlet. This is a uh, player one, player two, power and the HDM cable out. So we're gonna go ahead and plug. They have changed to USB-C, so you could uh, plug in any direction to get power. And then we're also going to uh, go ahead and uh, probably plug into TV afterward to test it. Okay, so I got it power in. I'm gonna flip this around. All right. And this is called, <laughs> I forgot the name. The one I didn't bought was a Frenzy. And this is a Buzz, Buzz. Yeah, Frenzy is the one I didn't buy. Okay, it's pronounced Berserk. All right, and this, you could actually replace it and put this, but they say don't use this to play because it's mainly for look. And then you have a kickstand that you could peel off and put it right here for the kickstand. And I wish I could tell you where those three go, those sticker, but it's your preference. Uh, I went back to the website and didn't really know where to where they go. And there's no really a sticker. Or I'll tell you, this is actually a button. I don't know if you could see you can see there's a hole here and there's that clip so if they, anybody know where those go <laughs> let me know because it, it's not a stick on where you could just stick onto it oh here's a little bumpy hole maybe it go to that hole oh okay it's like a magnet I think uh, I think the magnet stick See the magnet? But I don't know where it go. So, but yeah, there is a... Oh, maybe go on top. Maybe click on to the hole. And then... There you go. Now it makes sense. Okay. So it go... There's two magnets right here. It does stick. Okay, so there's a magnet right here, and there's a magnet right there. All right, got to figure it out, okay? So there's a magnet right here and magnet right there. You put that in here, and then it asks you to push in here. This It's real hard to close it once you have it open. I have to... Okay, and this is a cool design. So I guess this is what it actually looked like in the wheel model board. I don't think they would just make up this thing. Uh, so does it have any description? No, it doesn't. Just chips. It doesn't have a detail like what chip is what. It's just black. No writing, I don't think. Let's see if we could zoom in more. Yeah, there's no writing. Even on the this, it's just black line. Okay, so this piece of board, I guess it go right between those two. Hope I'm putting it correctly. Slot, All right? And it doesn't click or nothing. It doesn't snap. We just go in, and then this is the one. Okay, this time I did it right. Just push here instead, and we'll snap on. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and peel this off so that's what the purpose of it is for this all right let's see if we could put this on without me messing it up now we're gonna put it right at the very bottom all right there you go now I guess you could put Atari right here but it's kind of big this is too big maybe put a smaller one yeah you will fit the smaller one so you could 
there's two pieces right here. So you could take one off and peel one off. There you go. And then, oh, now I got fingerprint on it. All right, so let's put it way. Right there, all right. And this warning sign, I don't know what, where do you actually put this at? I don't know, you could even see what is writing. I think you could. It's a very nice small print. All right, so we are going to peel this off. Take the plastic off. The screen protection off. All right, it's off. And that's it. There's nothing. It looks like there is another one on top. Yep, there is one on top. All right, just break it through. I wish RK1 up was that easy. <laughs> but RK1 up wasn't that easy. You have to take the whole dog on screen before. And it looked like it have <clears throat> it have a a speaker I wonder if this is a way to do this correctly so it will that won't come off I don't think I think it's more toward the bottom maybe it's more like this way because that there you go I think it's more this way because because that that the chain is in the way of the joystick Okay, but right here on the top, it looks like there's a <clears throat> a speaker, but it's not. It's not. It's a fake speaker, but there is a a speaker up there. Okay, let's go ahead and press the the top. <clears throat> there's the LED light. I don't know. It doesn't mean that it still need to be charged or not. It press down and let's turn the volume all the way up. Uh, nothing is happening. <clears throat> uh, in the meantime, okay, it's coming up. In the meantime, let me see if I could hold on to this and replace this this thing right here. It pro probably will block the view of the screen since it's pretty tall. But I don't think I will play it so rough that that will break. Oop, got the screen on top of the basil. Alright, I went and when we place the the joystick. And this is what it looked like. So let's put everything. Right, I'm gonna plug it to the TV and see how it look on the screen. Okay, I just realized uh, if you put this over, you can't open the door. So I just push this to the side and it just hang there pretty much, didn't drop. Uh, there is actually a coin collector uh, bucket, which is real cool and awesome. Okay, so you put your thing in here. All right, it closed this. Now it doesn't have the 25 cents on it. I wish it, it does. Uh, you actually have the name called Quarter on the, the wagon say cool. so that is real cool so let me just close it back up you just pull from here from the little the little handle <laughs> make sure you push this metal away from you and then you could just pull this open okay and then just snap on this just snap on as well and then we're gonna put the quarter in see how it go I don't hear any sound or anything. Let me put another one. There's four quarter. Total of four. So there's three more. Put it in again. Nothing. And this one doesn't do this one is is empty. This is the only one I have hole. 
Doesn't do nothing. It doesn't press. Uh, so none of those buttons is it's just just a light. You can't press anything. So instead of coin would be this one. I don't know. It doesn't do anything. It's it's my coin in there. <laughs> it's my coin in there. Let's check. Let's check. There's no sound or anything, but yeah, all four of them is in. All four of them is in here. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep it in there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put all this stuff in there since I have space in there. I'm just put all my sticker in here keep for keep safekeeping. Let's see what fit. And then a little extra controller ball in here. Actually, I, I need to take this. This is too long. Yeah, I need to tape those. I'm just gonna tape it somewhere, I guess. Alright, put it in there. Close it. Alright, and then put this little lock thing. Click on. And I guess you could aim it the hole. Press down. There you go. So when you press put it into the hole, you press down because there's a little clip clip there. See now now it's good. Don't ask me how I got it. I, I did it correctly this time, but I don't know how I managed to have it click. But yeah, it's click. See you cannot. So it's click click down good. So you you put the bottom first, then you aim the aim the top, then you press down and then the clip. Okay, let's go back to the game. Uh, there's no screen once you plug to the TV. Okay, so once you plug in TV, uh, like this, you plug it to the TV. It's gonna be on TV. All right, let's check out the TV. See how 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 good it is, and then let's play one game. So I'm going to. Uh, let's look at this real quick. There's a player one, player two, and the fire button. And so the output does. Let's just play. Let's try it, and then we go back to the regular screen. Player one. So it's pretty accurate. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Destroy the intruder. Chicken, fight like a robot. Now the sound is real good because I always have problem. Ah, I got shot. Okay. Now if you press the fire and player one, player two, same time, you get a you get a option screen. Okay. So you can see better from TV than you could with the small screen. So if you press the player one and player two, which is right here, player one, player two, you press them together, all right? You get this screen. And it says Marquia is on, the light's on, so you could actually have it, let's put it further back. You could have it, let's press, Okay. Oh, fire just. Oh, you get two game. Choose your game. That is cool. We do have two game. I thought we just because there's two, two of the. So how do you choose the game? Okay, you press. The joystick do not work. So let's press fire one. Fire one. Fire one just change, but the joystick do not. Oh, okay, joystick up and down, up and down. So if you are using the joystick, right there, you press down like this, okay? That's how you change, all right? So you don't, let's see if I could get everything in here. <laughs> and my little chair. I can't get all that in there. Okay, so you have to press Let's see if we can zoom out. All right. So you have to press down to get to choose the game. Okay. And so you press fire. It doesn't do nothing. Okay. Player one. Okay. 
So it blink and it changed to a new game. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fence, fences, fancy, fences, fancy, fancy, and bazaar. Alright, so this game, it looked actually pretty cool. It's just the, the arcade look outside, I didn't quite crazy about. But let's go ahead and put player one, insert a coin. Robot attack. Player one, alright. Now, now you might pick this game because this game seemed to bounce off the... Ah, I shoot myself? Or did he shoot across it? Oh, you could shoot across it and then the, the wall will disappear and then they could shoot you. There you go. Ooh, ooh. This is pretty challenging. So the wall will disappear if you hit the... Ah! Oh, but the white wall bounce back. That is pretty cool. Awesome. Alright, let's, let's put it back into the small screen. So we could see how, how it look. Instead of from the big screen. Alright, so let's bring this screen up. Robot attack. So this one, you don't have to tilt the screen. It's perfectly designed, so you can actually look at it without worry about the screen being... <laughs> I didn't lock the, my tripod. So now it requires you to put your name. So let me put my initial. Uh, the beeping sound is coming from my TV because I unplugged the the output. All right, I'm a high school. <laughs> high school. Okay, so that is this one. But I think it, it is pretty cool. The screen screen is very clear. All right. So let's see how clear this is. We're going to tilt to the right. I don't see any problem with the right. It's always the right problem with the left. And the screen from the left is clear. Okay, and let's go. The top is very nice, and the bottom is good. It's a good IPS screen, good perfect screen. So anytime you want to buy a monitor or screen, you do want to get an IPS screen. Let me block the light. So as you can see, the white view is good. And, and the the left side is good. Now this is a 3.5 screen, I believe. Uh, let me measure it real quick. All right, let me change this back to my original game. So as you can see, see I can press this too and I get this one. Now to change to Marquia, Okay, so press, there you go, now it's off. So the marquee now is off. So if I press it again, it's back on. It's back on, okay? And marquee flicking. Why do I want to flick? One minute, five minute, or off? I guess when you get shot, it flick. And screen brightness. Okay, let's make, I need to go up higher. I want to super bright. And I don't want to flick. Um, I'll keep flicking one minute. I guess I'll leave in one minute. Actually, I don't want to flick. I might damage the light bulb. Let me just turn it off. Okay, and then scan line. Uh, a lot of people like scan line. To me, uh, the game, the screen is small enough that you don't need a scan line. The only reason you need a scan line is because when they created all the video game, it was in the LCT screen. And LC, L, I mean not L, CRT screen have a pixel. And to prevent it from seeing the, make the line look smoother, they added the, the scan line, which we call the scan line today. Before it's just, 
you know, the pixel, uh, I guess, to prevent it from seeing the pixel. And so, <clears throat> you could turn on player one, player two, on and off. So if you have two player, you will have to turn uh, the player one, player two in the back on. So when you plug it in, it will work. Otherwise, I guess it won't work. And replicate track mode is on. Yeah, I don't want it off. And you get bonus. You could give yourself a lot of bonus uh, by just playing. You could change that bonus point to big number over there. So let me see if I can zoom in more. See that all that number you could see right now is 3,000. And you could change to 4,000, 5,000, or whatever, how you like it. Okay? All right, so let me just go back out. Okay. So I want to change back to... I like both games. I didn't know the other game was as good as the... So to get to that one, you just press fire. And then just press the joystick down. Like, like so. And I want that one. All right, it doesn't blink now. Before it was blinking because of the one minute thing. All right, so I guess it's switching to to a different one. All right, let's measure this. See how big this screen is. Inside the screen is three inches. Okay, outside the screen with the black bezel is three and a half. So this is only a three inch screen. Intruder Which is fight like a robot. The, this kind of game, black and white, I guess. No, actually, I play it on the uh, analog pocket. It look real nice too in a tall. So intruder you could have it 3.5 inches or bigger because it's just a solid line. It's not. Alright, let's play a game. Target. Now I got this pretty loud, so it doesn't it doesn't get any louder than than what I have. So that is the maximum sound. I don't think I could shoot the happy face, but I better run away from it before it kill me. I love this joystick. You hear the clicking? I wish Glenn would make their joystick like that. I just pressed the wrong stupid one button. Either the Okay, I'm holding the cabinet when I when I'm moving the joystick with my finger, so it's making this whole thing wobble. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the smaller ball is is or oh, the bigger one is easy probably to over press it and could break the joystick. So they recommend using a smaller uh, joystick, the little ball instead. But I like the big one. It just kind of block the view of the screen if you use the. All right, I like it a lot, and I love to play this game. Now make me want to play the other game in my arcade uh, cabinet now because of the that I just tried. Now I bought a lot of this crazy chair because it is soft. <laughs> Cushion is very soft. It, it's real nice. It feels nice and soft, smooth, and soft plastic. It's not like you know those real plastic is like real rough. And tough this is not it's very soft and I bought I, I bought some mat for the bottom and that should be coming soon so I got pretty much figured out where everything go it's just that the the extra sticker I need to figure out where those go and that's pretty much it so let me turn this thing down and see if it go down yeah the 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 dragon layer if you try to turn it down See, you can still hear it. It won't go that down. It will, you still could hear it. 
even though you turn it the low wheel down. That's the only thing about the Dragon Layer that the, the the one that they I don't know about the first one they made, but the one that they we make it. A lot of people like me did not get it. I wanna got two Dragon Layer. Yeah, I did get space. Uh, space age, age, and then Dragon Layer. I got so I got one of each. And I like it. I like the design and everything. It's just that the sound cannot be turned down. It could turn up, but you cannot turn down. And I'm still complaining because they still did not fix it. I sent it back. They sent me another one just the same. Did not fix it. The Wubba, Wubba, Wubba feet. That is cool. All right. Uh, if you haven't watched X-Men the 97 from Disney, you should. It is nice. I love it. I'm an old fan of X-Men 97 because when I was young, we only could see... T cartoon TV at Saturday and it have a lot of cartoon on Saturday and I had to get up early in the morning to watch my cartoon uh, when I was in the elementary school and I love it and uh, after 31 years they they we make it <clears throat> so that's real cool all right thank you for watching and if you guys curious about the booklet this is the booklet and there is the information there for what is what on it. So those of you who are curious, you could look at, pause it, look at it, and then here's the other page. Okay. And there's the last page. And then the other one is just a different language. All right, thank you for watching. Later. Oh, <clears throat> on the sticker, I didn't know it would do that. See, I peeled the sticker off and the word the leather stay there okay so so I, I didn't do this one yet so I'm going to show it to you so if you was to you, you put it on and then you press it down and then you peel this piece off like so and the wool will stay on it look like it's crooked but heck <laughs> Alright, so you, you make sure it's not cooking because once you put it on, you cannot take those things off. So that's pretty cool. It looks like a... And then same thing here. I decided to put it here. The, to my opinion, it's probably the best place. And then once you get the metal pushed down, you just peel this off. Because it's too big to... It will go, un, it will go underneath. So I want to make sure it stay right in the middle. Then you peel this piece off. Ta -da. So I just want to bring that to your attention that you could actually do that and I didn't know. So and then I put the the so all my sticker is on. This is actually it is not a, a warning warranty or stuff. It's actually is the same as this sticker right here. It's telling you how to play the game. Okay. That sticker is exactly the same here. So I figure since there's already one and this the sticker is too big to be put on that red spot, so I just put a toy. And this one is too big to put here. So I decided to put it right here instead. And it's and it's not going past the bottom, so that's good. So yeah. So that's where I put my and then here you have a little thing. See that little there and there's a hole here. So you wanna do is there's a little thing you want to get that in there like so so you want this piece a little bit higher so you want to push this one in first it's how to do it with one hand <laughs> okay and then you just pretty much put this one slide this one down that's it you slide down and then click onto, huh? I did not click onto it. A lie. It just keep the door from opening. All right, it's hard to do it one hand. All right, is it in? There you go. Okay. So that's pretty much how you, I do it. Now my screen is not focusing. 
All right, I just want to add that in. That's that you can actually peel the the other sticker out, so that way the white sticker is gone. The clear the clear plastic is gone. Where did I put it? All right, thank you for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumb up, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.